Chapter 3 God's Plan for Humans Times and Seasons When God decided to create the heavens and earth, his intent was to live on this earth without using time. Because the earth became without form and void, time had to be used and recorded. See, God divided the earth into categories the creation of things and the administration and order of a thing. By doing this, God's pattern would be understood. So what is the creation of things? To describe the creation of things, God used the term age or worlds, which means a period of time, whether long or short, to complete that part of creation. He labeled them as past age, present age, and future age, or age to come. By doing this, humans have a better understanding of his plan. So what is the administration and order of things? See now, administration is a little different. The term used is dispensation. Dispensation means a period of time, whether long or short, for man to manage the earth. For each dispensation, God made a covenant for contract with a human being on the earth. The parties used were Adam, Noah, Abraham, Moses, and Jesus. Each human was given a covenant according to their present state. Each party was also given a time period to manage with purpose. The dispensations for each period of time are innocence, consciousness, human government, promise, law, grace, and divine government. Dispensation of innocence. After creating the earth, man and woman, God placed them in the Garden of Eden. God made a covenant with Adam, an innocent man, to be fruitful, multiply, and refill the earth. He could eat of every tree, but the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Should he eat of that tree, his spirit will become inactive, which is considered dead. It was Adam that purposely disobeyed God, which caused him to sin and end the contract of innocence. Not only did it end the contract, but the couple was also taken out of the Garden of Eden. To make sure they did not re-enter, he placed an angel with a sword of fire in his hand to guard. Dispensation of Consciousness Man was now on the earth with the ability to know good and evil. Now that man was conscious of what was in the earth, God created another contract. He told him to stay away from evil and do well, and to be aware that he is now a sinner, which cannot come into heaven. Also, he will physically work hard all the days of his life. Concerning his wife, God said that the pains of childbearing will occur. The woman will also declare the position as the head. In this dispensation, God made a promise to man that through his wife, he would have a child with all authority in the future. To the serpent, he also had promised a child with some power. Both were to enter the earth at different times, and this dispensation was ended by the flood. Dispensation of Human Government Before the flood ended all life forms other than the select few God chose, God searched Adam's bloodline down through Seth and found a righteous man named Noah. This Noah had a wife, three sons, and three daughter-in-laws. God requested his family to build an ark of his design for the coming flood. After the flood, God made covenant with Noah. God said to replenish the earth again. This time, Noah was to organize, administrate, and manage the earth with rules made by humans. God would monitor them when needed. This dispensation ended with an upgrade by using a family to demonstrate throughout generations. Dispensation of Promise In order to make human government rules greater, a family must be used to demonstrate God's plan to the earth. God continued using the same bloodline of Noah. He continued down the bloodline to a man named Abram. See, Abram was a married man with no children. But this is the covenant that was made with Abram, which later name changed to Abraham. He said Abraham would move to a land the Lord will show him. He will be a father of many nations. Whoever bless him, God will bless them. But whoever curse him, 
God will curse them. Through Abraham's family, all the families of the earth would be blessed. This dispensation ended when the family's promises became too powerful for human governmental rules with sin clauses. God decided to build a dispensation to identify what was a sin. Dispensation of Law God has given humans governmental rules and administration, also a family to fulfill his promises through. Now it was time to show the world what sin is. God chose Moses from Abraham's family, but not from the special bloodline of Judah, which was to bring the Messiah. The covenant was to give the family the commandments from God, which made a big difference from others on earth. These commands God made himself, and they must be done. God allowed humans to do wrong because all wrong was not sin, yet sin separated them from God. God hates sin. It will always exist for those who are not a believer. In the next lesson, God will introduce a better covenant. Dispensation of Grace The law came and ended at the cross with a better covenant and better rules. See, the Messiah, Jesus, taught the disciples. Jesus said to them when he came back from the dead to wait on the Holy Spirit, which will make them better witnesses by following them leading them and guiding them into all truth. Grace is described as the kingdom system from heaven, guided and governed by the Holy Spirit. During this time, believers in Christ will learn to walk by faith and not by sight, and salvation will be offered to all men, not just a special family or bloodline. This dispensation will end with Israel coming to the acknowledging Messiah Jesus as Lord. Also, Jesus will come with his saint army. Some people will be placed into the lake of fire, but Satan will be chained for a thousand years. During this period, the people will rejoice. Dispensation of Divine Government See, this is a period of 1,000 years where the King of Kings and Lord of Lords will rule his physical kingdom with the help of his redeemed saints of all nations. It begins where Jesus, the Messiah's feet touch Mount Olivet. Jesus will take two of the three evil leaders and place them into the lakes of fire. Satan, that old devil, will be bound and chained and placed into the bottomless pit for 1,000 years, so not to bother humans. The Messiah will teach humans how to live in paradise and allow the saints to monitor them. See, this will be a time to see humans without evil and the ability to love one to another. Some of us will be faithful over a few, while others will be faithful over many. The dispensation will end with preparing the humans for Satan's release to the bottomless pit for a season. The point is to show humans their love to the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost.